Hello, well, welcome to today's video where I'll be covering my webcomic process in Clip Studio Paint. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at Clip Studio Paint's quick access menu and some ways you can use it to enhance your webcomic workflow. Links to additional tutorials and everything mentioned in today's video will be down in the description below. One of the great things about Clip Studio Paint that I've come to appreciate over the years is its customizability. If you're someone who likes a really minimalist layout with few distractions, you can easily make your workspace fit that design. Or if you're like me, you like having all your tools and features visible at all times. No matter what your workspace preference is, we can all agree that having your favorite tools and features easily accessible is important for speeding up your workflow. Nobody likes having to memorize a ton of shortcuts or dig through menus to find that one tool they're looking for. Fortunately, Clip Studio Paint has an excellent feature for grouping together and quickly accessing any tool you need, called the Quick Access Menu. As you can see, I've created a button list of my most used options and tools, which I can simply click or tap to use. To set up the Quick Access Menu, first you'll want to add it to your workspace under the Window menu. Once you've positioned it how you like, open the drop-down on the side to view its options. By going to View, you can adjust how the Quick Access menu displays your buttons. You can rename your set by going to Manage Set. When you're ready to add buttons, go to Quick Access Settings. At the top, you'll find a drop-down, which lets you choose from different sources throughout the program to pull your options from. For example, if I wanted to add in a toggle for the Navigator window, I'd go to the Menu Commands drop-down then head to Window Navigator. Or if I wanted to add a specific brush, I go to the Tools drop-down, then pick my brush from the list. After your buttons have been added, you can click and hold a button to reposition it. Dragging a button towards the bottom of the palette will add in a divider, which will help you organize your buttons into groups. So how can this menu be useful for web comic creation? One important element of comic creation is keeping style consistency across pages. To achieve this, comic artists will often use the same tools for every page. I like to create a quick access menu for each of my projects, where I can organize the tools I use for inking, coloring, speech bubbles, paneling, etc as well as any frequently used settings, in one convenient location. For example, this is the set I use when working on my project, Darily and the Magician's Key. I've created a different section for each step of my process, so I can easily find what I'm looking for without having to waste time searching for my tools elsewhere. Even some of my color swatches have found a home in this set. Quick access menus have very few limitations, so you can get really creative with them to find the perfect setup for you and your project. My productivity and enjoyment of the comic making process has increased a ton since I made the quick access set, so I intend to make new ones for all my future projects too. For a more general, practical use of quick access menus, you could create a menu set dedicated to the most helpful of Clip Studio Paint's features that don't normally have icon buttons. For example, here's my set that I've named Tools which is dedicated to showing features and settings I'd like to have on hand at all times. I can flip my canvas, start a time-lapse recording, switch my color picker mode, update my file objects, etc. These are all features of Clip Studio Paint that I use regularly when I draw, but I can never get the hang of making shortcuts for. I use this set for both comics and illustration, and it's become a staple in my process. Those are the basics for how I use the quick access menu when making web comics in Clip Studio Paint. Check the description below for my social media links and more tutorials. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.